Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a new crazy video where I've just spent the last six hours piecing together for you guys all of the storyline pieces for the entire cube storyline in Fortnite Battle Royale. So this is going to be a big one. I do hope you guys enjoy it. And if you are new, please do subscribe and go and support me as a creator to show your love and support to the channel. It would be awesome if you guys could do that. My support at creator code is Postbox Pat, and I have been shouting out a bunch of you guys, as you can see on screen right now. Thank you to everybody who's been supporting me. If you guys have supported me as a creator and purchased an item or have recently just decided to support me go over to my twitter at postbox part and send me a tweet and i'll be sure to give you guys a shout out in upcoming videos anyway let's pop straight into this and show you guys exactly where we are getting at with this storyline so starting off in season four we had the rocket event this was the start of the fortnite cube storyline so the storyline for the cube is completely different to the actual storyline we have in game you have high crossovers but are two separate things and we will talk about that later on anyway let's jump straight into this and show you guys what happens here so the rocket goes up and it kind of just goes you know we're going to space but then suddenly it decides to turn around and target tilted towers and this is when the event begins or should i say the start or the birth of the cube so what happens is the rocket points down towards tilted towers you can see here i'm filming it in slow motion it actually aims towards tilted towers and goes you know what let's go and destroy tilted towers and boom it goes zooming into tilted towers and luckily enough actually we actually get a portal that saves us or saves tilted towers from being destroyed which was absolutely awesome and then as the event continues we see that it causes this huge crack in the sky so as time went on the crack obviously got bigger and bigger throughout season four and towards the start of season five as well now teleporting a little bit further into season five the crack actually started to shrink and as the crack shrinked there was a stage where it goes you know what that's enough it's time to give birth to the cube which it does before the cube actually decided to appear the crack actually decided to fire a bunch of lightning bolts at these random cactuses on top of this island in paradise palms here's a screenshot of that for you guys which is absolutely awesome so basically the lightning was just striking down on these cactuses before it actually spawned in the actual cube which was an interesting concept so I thought it was pretty cool seeing that happen a lot and it just kept happening over and over. But here is the gameplay of the cube spawning. So there you have it guys, the cube spawns in from huge purple bolts of lightning after destroying all the cactuses, which was a pretty interesting concept. So after that happened, we waited a few hours and next minute, everyone was strangely confused because the cube started to actually roll. The first predictions for the cube location was actually going to be the pond to the right of Paradise Palms, just down there to the right where the cube keeps rolling, but it actually got cancelled that as we know, and it ended up going towards Loot Lake. But let's not jump too far ahead just yet, let's talk a little bit about the steps about rolling around. So the cube just simply kept rolling and rolling to all different locations. And why this was going on, there was a few things the cube was actually planning before it arrived at its destination. Here you can see the cube just outside Fatal Fields and you can also note that the cube started to glow up sometimes and when the cube started to glow up like in this screenshot here it was actually spawning in the ruins the interesting thing about the cube it would actually generate shield when you're around the area and these ruins were actually gravitational zones which you'll see in a second and it was leaving these marks that you can see on the floor which were pretty cool all over the map so here is a screenshot of the gravitational zone you'll simply jump in there and it's like having a hot rock turned on all the time so you can basically take no fall damage and there were some crazy moments and gameplay clips recorded in these crazy gravitational zones caused by the cube so as time passed people were coming up with all sorts of crazy theories popping left right and center a few notable theories to cover in this video was the actual letters that were appearing inside of loot lake this was before the cube arrived there this was coming up with a lot of theories from people saying eventually it's going to end up at loot lake which was the case as we know so 
that was pretty cool and i actually found that in my game that's actually from my game that screenshot so it's pretty cool and that's where the theory of that really came from a lot of people found that as well a few days before me but anyway another crazy theory which is worth taking note of is the tilted towers theory this one to me was just ridiculous so many people want tilted towers destroyed and so many people don't it's like a 50 50 split and people started taking the actual shapes and the ruins and kind of piecing it together making it look like tilted towers and people were going crazy in the community people were saying this is the end of tilted the rockets return the cubes gonna crush it and as we know the cube did not destroy tilted towers it only destroyed one building in tilted towers but here is the entire path of the cube now thank you for silaxo leaks on twitter he actually created this and it shows you guys the exact date the exact times and stuff it's insane guys and it doesn't show you the final event because obviously he didn't actually edit it or didn't put the final one up i'm not too sure why but it's pretty cool and i really do like it and it's an awesome screenshot from him and it's just crazy because it goes around the entire map starting at paradise palms going to fatal fields then heading towards greasy grove then past tilted towers but not into tilted towers around the top of salty springs and spawning in ruin free there past retail row then through the inside of lonely lodge so not actually inside of it just to the left of it then inside of whaling woods crushing a few trees there and then then it changes direction goes past tomato temple which was changed during season five from tomato town to tomato temple then past ruin six which is just outside of lazy links going all the way past pleasant park and eventually arriving at the ruin seven which is in between pleasant park and the football stadium or football pitch whatever you want to call it the indoor one and then round the back of that through tilted towers destroying the new shop which so many people were upset about and then finally ending at loot lake and we'll jump to that bit now in the storyline so here are two screenshots of the last two movements of the cube. So the second to last one, which is on screen right now, where I actually crushed one of my subscribers during my stream. And then the last screenshot is the cube almost touching the water, which I'll show you guys some footage right now. There you have it guys, we see the cube dissolve inside of Loot Lake and turn it into some purple crazy bouncy castle which was highly fun for bouncing around and getting a bunch of kills on. So as that took place we know that the lake took a while to spread, I had it on my live stream, we were covering it and stuff, it's an awesome live stream that, it's probably one of the best live streams I've ever done, the event was insane, my reaction was crazy for it and we had so many portal faults, here are some screenshots from the live stream and near enough every single player in the game was at the lake at that time so so thanks and credits to everyone who was actually at the lake during that live stream or was there at that live stream it was absolutely awesome so after the event took place we had quite a bit of time between the end of season five and the start of season six so we were kind of just chilling just playing casual fortnite just like i'm doing right now in the background footage but suddenly we got into the season six trailer so i'll show you guys some footage of that because that really does kind of explain what happens to the cube next And that is absolutely insane, guys. We can clearly see what has happened there is basically the cube has decided to reform underneath the Loot Lake Island and then basically suck in all of the cube that's currently in the lake to create this crazy floating island. Now, I cut the trailer a little bit there to try and make this video as short as possible for you guys, but it's near enough impossible to explain this storyline in such a short time. Next thing to look at is the corrupted areas that you can see on this map right now, the little dark patches where the ruins once were and now the corrupted areas so the corrupted areas play a very key part in the fortnite storyline relating to the cube so what we note and what we see is the cube traveling around gaining a lot of energy 
and then spitting out its energy at all of these corrupted areas. So basically its surplus energy is getting generated and it's kind of thinking, you know, what can I do with this? So it replaces it back at the ruins, which is a really awesome concept. And you'll see what that does later on. We also note that shadow stones spawned in during season six, which is kind of like a leftover energy from the corrupted areas or the cube, or maybe even the gravitational fields. And if you don't know what shadow stones do, maybe you're watching this in say season seven or eight, where shadow stones are no longer in the game well basically you consume them and you can run through objects you can move faster you can kind of just sneak around you kind of go a little bit invisible but not 100 percent and they're just really cool and then also to know the cube actually powers up these kind of like mini volcano type things which are bouncy and they are powered up when the cube goes round spitting out its surplus energy so we note as well that the cube actually expands on the inside giving itself kind of it's kind of i don't know how you're going to describe this or how i can describe it but it's kind of basically as the cube goes around it goes to itself you know we need to expand a little bit and just kind of show people that we're getting bigger so what it does it brings out mini cubes which are absolutely hilarious and we see them appearing up all over the loot lake island which is crazy but as that went on the cube managed to fill up every single area and i'll show you guys the exact path it actually went like i did before so the floating island cube type thing started where the sun is located just by pleasant park then the first location it went to was the first ruin outside of pleasant then the one by shifty then by fatal then by retail then by whaling then by tomato and finally ending up at the one by dusty divot which was the final ruin so that was a pretty interesting concept and also to note a lot of people had a theory that it was going to end in salty springs and destroy salty springs because when season six got released it was actually a glitch with the island hovering over salty springs on the map which was not the case at all guys there's so many theories like that, that appear that are just fake so don't consider them all the time but they are fun i guess so pretty cool but next up, we have the islands all being summoned by the cube at its final destination. So all the previous ruins got summoned to turn into small islands. All flew to the destination just outside of Salty Springs, where the cube is currently located, or the cube island. And basically, what it decided to do was suck in all of the power that it's just been kind of wasting or giving out to gain huge energy control. And as you guys can see right now, all of the ruins did end up falling to the ground. Now, this was actually a restart event it was not a live event so to get this to actually appear in game if you were waiting for it live like we did on our live stream you had to actually restart i don't know if that was a glitch on epic games end or not or it was just generally planned to be like that but for that event i was kind of i was excited for it and then i didn't see anything happen but as soon as i reset my game i was like hold on a minute all the ruins are being called up and this is absolutely insane so as time passed the cube ended up returning to its original location in leaky lake with all its power gained from the ruins that had just been summoned the smaller kind of little islands type things the cube was kind of thinking i'm very powerful now and i'm ready to explode so what happens is this it generates a huge portal in the sky with kind of like a line connecting to the cube which actually causes the event for nightmares it's crazy to think that from season four we've actually ended up with all this leading up to four nightmares and obviously we'll have to see what's to come in the future but here's the next part in the storyline. And this is where things started to get a little bit different. Now the cube has summoned these cube monsters and there are three different types of these monsters and they spawn in on kind of these weird kind of cuby type structures that you can see here on screen right now which is pretty crazy because these are actually all spawning over the map which have actually came through that portal which is pretty interesting because maybe future things could come through that portal and here are two types we've got the brute and the standard cube monster and here's a screenshot of the taller type so they're all the three types of the monsters that we have in the game currently and then finally we actually have the current event which is taking place at this moment in time where we see the cube island kind of starting to get a little bit 
a little bit hectic, should I say, because the cracks on the cube are starting to expand a lot more. So here's a little video of me just flying around the cube, having some chill time, just checking out some stuff. And you can notice the island itself has completely cracked, which we saw in the Fortnite Merge trailer, which I showed you guys before. And then we can see the portal down there is still down there, or should I say the whirlpool? I don't know exactly what I should describe that as, but above us, we have kind of the above portal which is spawning things in and then below we have like the whirlpool portal type thing which doesn't actually have anything coming out of it just yet but we could see something coming out of that in the future so right now we can see the islands completely cracked the famous loot lake island has been destroyed at leaky lake and it's kind of sad but we're now at a stage where epic games is coming up with so many crazy surprises we just don't know what is going to happen next and with the island currently in this state and the portal above us still open and the whirlpool still kind of whirling we don't know what's going to happen and anything could spawn in the cube could explode the cube could open up there's rumors that the blockbuster is going to come back there are so many rumors that's going to happen and obviously i'll be covering that on my channel right here for you guys but the final screenshot i've got for you guys is pretty cool it's pretty interesting because it actually shows you guys the dates and times of the actual kind of cracking on the cube should i say so here you can see the date and you've got the times there running through absolute awesome so it's from fortory on twitter and they are all the expansions that we've had with the cracks to this current date of making this video now if you're watching this video in the future and i haven't added in any of the future things so expect them to be on the end screen annotations anyway if you've made it all the way to the end of this video comment down below lucky cube because i'm currently in lucky landing and obviously the cube is probably going to be so lucky and potentially could some survive till season 10 which would be pretty funny but i don't know if i can expect that it's only a little prediction there for me but i just want to say everybody who is new to this video please do hit that subscribe button it would be awesome if you guys could stick around for daily fortnite content i produce a wide range of fortnite content covering storyline news map changes tips and tricks challenge videos and so much more relating to fortnite battle royale and if you want to keep up to date with the cube or anything that is going on event wise in fortnite my channel is the number one place to be for that with Without actually getting clip baited into anything daft out there stay tuned on my channel i produce so much daily fortnite content and it would be awesome if you guys could go and support me on the support a creator event with the code postbox pat which is just my channel name it's so simple it's just my channel name go and enter that and send me it at postbox pat on twitter and i'll be sure to give you guys a shout out in upcoming videos anyway if you are new please do stick around for daily fortnite content like i just said and once again leave a like comment subscribe and this is postbox pat signing out